Dear friends and devotees, we were talking about the Hanuman visited Sita in Ashokamana and a discussion between Hanuman and Sita was discussed in the last episode. This is a part of the Sundarakanda actually and Sundarakanda is continued. The, all the activities of Hanuman is a part of Sundarakanda. So Hanuman, after talking to Sita Mata, he got the permission of Sita Mata to eat some fruit in the vana. During that uh, discussion with uh, Hanuman and Sita, Sita was suspicious whether how this monkey can be a friend of Rama and also how he can help to kill the enemies. So Hanuman showed his bigger form, then she got confident in him and also Hanuman gave uh, the ring what Rama has given as a witness and uh, Hanuman requested Sita to give some evidence for him to show Rama. So Sita also gave some jewelry from her position to Hanuman and uh, Hanuman left Sita Hotika and uh, he thought he will eat some more fruits and uh, give some warning to Ravana. So he started destroying the garden Vana and all the palaces and uh, damaging the part of the his Ashokavana except uh, Sita's uh, 
tree where Sita is sitting, the rest of the trees are all damaged. And the, the, the demoness and uh, some demons reported Ravana about Hanuman destroying the Ashokamana. So Ravana became angry and he sent his army to catch this monkey and bring him to his darbar. Those people who came to attack Hanuman, Hanuman finished them. All the army soldiers all Ravana's were killed and they went back. Ravana became further angry and he sent his son Akshaya and with some more soldiers and they were also killed by Hanuman. So Ravana became a little bit shaky and he was unbalanced on his own feet when came to know that his son is dead. So Ravana became angry and he asked Indrajit, his biggest son, to go and catch that monkey and bring him. So Indrajit also has to make a small war with uh, Hanuman and Hanuman realized uh, Indrajit could be a way for him to visit Ravana's Darbar. And uh, uh, Indrajit used Brahma Pasha to capture Hanuman. But Hanuman knows Brahma Pasha will not hurt him. So he accepted Brahma Pasha, but Brahma Pasha touched his body and disappeared. So Hanuman accepted to be tied in the ropes and pulled along with him to the Ravana's Darbar. So Ravana was expecting Indrajit to bring monkey and Indrajit took Anuman with his demon soldiers and went to Ravana's Darbar. He told Ravana, here is the monkey we cast him. And uh, though then Ravana wanted to kill the Hanuman straight away. Vibhishana interfered and he told, this is not fair to kill a messenger coming from the enemy source. It is better to talk to the messenger and understand the situation and give a response back to him, to the enemy. Accordingly, Vibhishana agreed, but Vibhishana asked the, his soldiers to put um, oil and wrap it with the cloth on the Hanuman's tile and put the fire on it. Uh, when the soldiers are trying to get ready to do this work, Hanuman warned Rama and uh, he requested Ravana to surrender to Rama and submit his wife Sita to Rama in honor and dignity so that you can save the your life and family and your army and your status provided you surrender to Rama. And Ram, Ravana did not agree that. He became angry and uh, he did not listen to him. At the time Vibhishana, because Vibhishana obstructed uh, Ravana to kill Hanuman and Ravana told Vibhushana, you are talking like an enemy today and you can't do this. And then Vibhushana along with his friends, he left the palace of Ravana's palace and moved in the in the sky mark, sky way to Rama's and he came to shelter of Rama. Now Hanuman, the Ravana soldiers put fire into the Hanuman tile and uh, Hanuman became a small sized monkey and he jumped on the top of the terraces of the palace and he put the fire onto the palace and to the lot of houses he put the fire. The whole the Lanka terraces and palaces are, are 
said to be fired with hanuman's action and uh, hanuman after destroying three quarter of the palace apart from the vibhishana's palace and vib and uh, shrutaka and sita uh, staying ashokavana rest of the palaces appears to be fully damaged with the fire because of the hanuman and hanuman went in the sea a water and dipped in tail and to make it cool rama prayer of rama and sita's blessings hanuman did not got hurt his tails are not burnt his tails were all right so he came back to sita uh, ashokavana and he went round three times to sita and he told sita that rama will come and assured sita that they are going to bring the monkey army and uh, rama and lakshmana they are coming to safeguard sita and rescue and sita told if rama didn't come within next two months i'm going to kill myself and uh, this atrocities of ravana is becoming so miserable i cannot tolerate any more she said i am going to tell this message to rama i am sure he will give a solution to come early to release you then the hanuman went near the lowest mountain in the in the north uh, southern shore of the sea he went on the top of the mountain and gave a big leap and went up in the sky route come back to northern show and then come back to rama and sugriva he brought the message from sita and he brought the message from ravana and vibhishana all the circumstances what he saw in the lanka he depicted to rama sugriva and hanuman requested rama not to delay any more we will proceed to lanka so sri rama lakshmana sugriva hanuman and the monkey's army come back to the sea shore and in the sea shore ravana ravana sent two spies to see what's happening on the enemy side the spy one spy was arrested by the monkeys and rama discussed with him and and kept him in the arrest for the time being the another uh, spy called shardola he went back to ravana and informed the preparation of crossing the sea is going on on the other side and the monkey army he is very eager to come to lanka to pray war against you this is a story of of the shardula a spy of ravana who came along with the other spy to see the Ram, rama's camp here rama lakshmana sit together and did that prayer to see god to give way to cross the sea and uh, and he worshiped rama rama worshiped parameshwara in that place and that place where rama worshiped uh, ishvara became a rameshwara that's a pilgrimage place at present at that time it was on the sand and the sea shore and that place rama worshiped ishvara and then rama lakshmana prayed sea god but sea god did not listen to them so rama took his arrow and bow and threatened to destroy the sea and uh, and at that time the sea goddess came out sea god came out and pleaded apology pleaded uh, innocence because he is one among the panchadhatu water is a one of the panchadhatu and he has to follow the rule of inertia and he cannot 
disappear from the place to make way for Rama. So Rama excused Sigar and then Jambavanta and Angada and the all were discussing how to cross the ocean. And uh, Hanuman recognized there are two monkeys who have been cursed with uh, rushes in the past and if they sto throw a stone, the stone will float in the water. That becomes a blessing with the situation. So Anuman asked all the monkeys to bring the big, big, big stone to these two monkeys and they are going to put in the water. So they keep on doing like that and uh, they built a floating bridge on the top of the ocean. A line of stones formed a road in the middle of the sea for army to cross and Rama Lakshmana to cross. So by doing that way, that uh, two Nala and uh, uh, this Nala has that curse. So Nala put all the stones in a, in a line on the water and they all started floating, became a road. And uh, at that time, Nala started Sri Rama, Sri Rama on the top of the stone before putting in the water. So the whole road became Sri Rama's bridge, Sri Rama, Sri Rama, Sri Rama on the stone, floating stone, formed a bridge and Rama, Lakshmana, Anuman and the monkey army all walked over the bridge to cross the sea. It's a great uh, thing to see the monkey army along with Rama, Lakshmana, Hanuman and Sugriva are crossing the um, ocean. Like that they managed to cross the ocean and came to Lanka on the other side. And uh, from the Rama and Lakshmana and Sugriva and Hanuman, they, they reached the, they reached the is monkey army making a lot of noise in the near Lanka, Ravana asked his soldiers to wake Kumbhakarana who was sleeping. And Kumbhakarana with a great difficulty, the Ravana's soldiers wake him up and then Kumbhakarana came to Ravana and requested Ravana to surrender Sita to Rama and submit your apologies as we all know that Rama is nothing but Narayana and Sita is nothing but Lakshmi. Though I request you to do this and Kumbhakarana words are not pleased to Ravana. Ravana said, you are my brother, you are taking the side of enemy, this is not acceptable to me, you have to protect my army, go and support my army. And Ra Kumbhakarana, in spite of telling Ravana the future, he wouldn't accept. He came to rescue of Ravana's army. Now, when Kumbhakarana, such a big figure coming in front of the monkey army, monkeys are frightened. And a lot of monkeys dead in his, under his feet. And uh, Ravana uh, think Kumbhakarana is going to finish the Rama's army completely. Rama uh, removed his left hand, uh, first and right hand, second arrow. Both hands are missing. He was still walking in front of the army. So then he has to remove his legs also. And Ra Kumbhakarana opened his mouth to swallow the whole army of monkeys. And Rama filled his mouth with so many arrows. And uh, in, the Ram, in the end, Rama uh, cut his head and the head went and fallen in the sea near the front of the Ravana Lanka entrance. And, uh, and Kumbhakarana is dead and uh, Ravana's army soldiers went a messenger to send information to Ravana. Ravana became so upset, so angry and uh, he couldn't imagine the loss of his brother Kumbhakarana. 
So he asked his son Meganada to go and continue the war on behalf of his army and support his army. Meganada is a great devotee of uh, of goddess Nimbukala, Nikumbala, and he started going to worship Nikumbala in the cave, so that. He ablations he was carrying on, and Vibhishana came to know that Meghnatha is doing homa, giving ablation to Nikumbala, and suggested Rama that we have to spoil the havan or homa, what Meghnatha is doing at the present. So Rama said, yes, I will come, we will go. But Vibhishana said, the Meghanada has got a, a boon from Brahma that only one person who has done no sleep for the 12 years and, uh, and uh, leading a Brahmacharya life only can kill the Meghanada. So, Lakshmana fulfills the qualification required to kill Meghanada. So, Vibhishana requested Rama to send Lakshmana with him. So, as per the Vibhishana suggestion, Rama agreed and Lakshmana came with Vibhushana and Hanuman and uh, some monkey army came to the cave where he is doing uh, Nikumbala uh, Ednya. Uh, Nikumbala Ednya was a very auspicious goddess and uh, if he success in finishing the havan then he will become unbeatable so to to stop that situation vibhishana allowed lakshmana to start war and disturb the uh, meganada's uh, havan so since meganada's havan nikumbala havan was started disturbed by hanuman and monkey army he came out with uh, anger he started his shooting his arrows towards the monkey's army and Lakshmana started fighting with him and Meghanatha had a, a several uh, type of warfare. He used to disappear from the position. Lakshmana can't see where he is to fight an arrow. That sort of Maya war Meghanatha conducted and different different directions he was disappearing and reappearing and making Lakshmana very complicated. Meghanatha was a great warrior and he used to have a special power of war like a magician. He used to reappear and appear and uh, in the sky and in the ground. Lakshmana couldn't concentrate on him and uh, Meghanatha cleverly used Brahmastra caused a huge casualty on monkey army as well as Lakshmana. Lakshmana fell unconscious and Meghanatha felt Lakshmana is killed and the war is going to stop because Lakshmana is going to be killed so he has disappeared from the army site. Ramachandra went into sorrow and uh, he requested Hanuma to go to Kshirasagara and Dronachala mountain to bring special herbs to revive the people monkeys who are unconscious as well as Lakshmana who is unconscious. Hanuman went to his mission of bringing special herb from Dronachala mountain. On the way, Ravana arranged a spy to stop him reaching his goal. And this man started doing like bhajan, Ram bhajan in the middle of the forest in the uh, ascetic form. 
He is a monster actually. So Hanuman became curiously to know who is doing this Rama Bhajan in the forest here. He went and asked for drinking water. And uh, that monster in the guise of the ascetic asked him to go and drink water in the lake and come back so that he will give some advice and guidance. So he went to drink water in the lake and a crocodile attacked him and he killed the crocodile. From the crocodile a Gandharva lady came and told that this man is not an ascetic, real ascetic, he is a monster in the guise of ascetic. Don't believe him. You just proceed to your aim of getting help to Rama and the Lakshmana. He went, Hanuman went straight back to his ashrama and he killed him, monster. And then he proceeded to Dronachala and being the herbal medicine for Lakshmana and also the monkeys who were unconscious with the Brahmastra. So as soon as Hanuman brought the herbal medicine for Lakshmana and monkeys, all are revived with the help of Hanuman, Lakshmana re revived his life back again. And as soon as Lakshmana got up, where is Mogadatha? Where is Meghnatha? I am going to finish his life. He was shouting. And Rama told him what happened. He went unconscious because of uh, Brahmastra of Meghnatha. You can use also Brahmastra for him. Don't hesitate if need to. Rama said to him. Then the war continued. In Jindrajitta came back, Meghnatha came back to fight the Lakshman and uh, Lakshman fighting the K war with Meghnatha with the magic war. In the end he prayed for Rama in his mind and shoot the arrow and then Meghnatha is dead with that arrow. And soldiers take the message to Ramana that Meghnatha is no more. And Ramana became so angry and unhappy and he came to the war himself later. When Ramana came to the army fighting place. He was came with a very huge chariot with 16 wheels and a 10 heads and 20 arms, furious, uh, fiercing, very terrible uh, presentation to all the monkeys, monkey army. They are frightened and Rama was fighting on a bare feet uh, put plenty arrows and showered arrows on the Ravana and Ravana also showered arrows on monkey army and fierce fighting was going on and Lord Indra was seeing the war field from the heaven felt uneasy when Rama was fighting on a barefoot when Ravana is fighting on a chariot with a huge presentation. He sent Maithili to take his special Ratha with Sarati Maithili to take the chariot to Rama and, and guide him, help him Rama to face the Ravana in this difficult situation. Maithili arrived with his beautiful chariot and uh, horses and uh, and uh, Maithili requested Rama to use the uh, chariot. Rama was surprised at the presentation of Maithili with the 
chariot and uh, Maithili requested again. Then Rama got up in the chariot and started continue the war. Rama removed one head after the other head and uh, one arms after the other arm of Ravana in the war. But Ravana was laughing when the head is re appearing, reappearing again and again. All the heads was removed but all the heads came back. Rama was surprised and all the arms were taken out and again the arms are also came back. Ravana being a big Mayavi and his war techniques are very very special and he was disappearing and reappearing whenever they want and uh, this sort of uh, warfare was going on and uh, Rama was thinking and Vibhishana understand the situation and given a clue that Ravana has got his Amrita Kalasha in his abdomen near navel area and also in chest so you need to hit the place of Amrita Kalasha so that Ravana can be killed and then Ravana understood the clue and he used the arrow to kill Ravana on his belly in the navel area and Ravana's Amrita Kalasha operated and he has shot another arrow to the chest also and Ravana came flat on the bottom of the his chariot and that ends the Ravana's uh, war with Rama in that situation. The great mission of ending demons was completed when once Ravana came down. Rama expressed his gratitude to Sugriva, Hanumanta, Jambavanta, Lakshmavan, Vibhishana, Angada and Sugriva and others. He mentioned, so long the earth exists, your performance shall be remembered with reverence to all his supporters. Saying thus, he looked the, the battleground, he found Mandodari and other women of the palace lamenting over the dead body of Ravana. Vibhijana also getting closer to them mourned the death of his elder brother Ravana. While doing so, he got immersed in shock, so much so that he fell unconscious over the ground. Rama then advised Lakshmana to console Vibhishana and encourage him for performing his last rites of Ravana. But Vibhishana said, because of Ravana has done so much bad things and atrocities against so many problems, he is not that happy to do his last rites. Rama told all the past incidents, just forget it and do the last rites of Ravana now because you are the only brother living and supporting situation and you do the last rites of Ravana. He requested Vibhishana. After Ravana fell down in the chariot, after the last arrow of Rama killed him, the gods shower flowers and petals on Sri Rama, praising the achievement of removing all the demons who are troubling the earth. God showered flowers and produced notes of celestial music and dancing girl of the heaven performed happily in the sky Sages, Siddha and Charana recited his divine glory. In the presence of all, a brilliant light emerged from the body of Ravana and merged in Rama's body. Gods were surprised to see such a high level of liberation to Ravana. Narada explained to the gods, as an adversary, Ravana had constantly chanting Rama's name as an enemy and thus he had brought himself quite close to Rama. Rama.
Rama suggested Vishnu and Hanuman to go to Ashoka Vatika and bring Sita and let her have a bath and new dresses up, bring her properly with dignity and honor. Vishnu agreed, suggested ladies to to give her a bath and get ready for Sita to come back to Rama. And Vibhishana and his party brought Sita Mata in a pallaki with full dignity and honor to Sita. When pallaki was coming nearer to Rama, Rama asked Lakshmana to develop a fire and Sita has to walk through the fire. Lakshmana was perturbed but still his order of his brother he did develop a fire and Sita came near the fire and she prayed, submitted her prayers to Agnideva. If I maintain the chastity, chasticity, Pativrata Dharma, please help me. She prayed God's also before going through the fire. So went through the fire and came out. Agnideva hand over Sita that we am returning Sita to you, to Rama. Maya Sita was there with Ravana for so many days and real Lakshmi, real Sita was not with Ravana and the, the, the treacherous days of Sita is endured by Maya Sita, not the real Sita. In Adhyatma Ramayana, we can read the Ramayana and we get the feeling Rama is not an ordinary man, Rama is a god from the beginning to end because Mahadeva is telling Paruti like that in many inst instances. Vibhishana requested Pushpaka Viman to come and Pushpaka Vimana came Rama, Lakshmana, Sita all went up to the Vishpaka Vimana and uh, Vibhishana, Sugriva and Angada Jambavanta all requested Rama to allow them to come to Ayodhya to see his big coronation program. Rama given his approval Vibhishana, Sugriva and all others, Angada, joined in the Pushpaka Vimana group. And on the way, while going in the Pushpaka Vimana, Sri Ramachandra explained to Sita the places where he came after a... And first he showed the place of the war, and then he showed the Kishkinda area, and then he showed the Panchavati area and then he showed the Bharadwaja Muni Ashrama and then Pushpakamana came direct to Nandi Grama where Bharata was ruling Ayodhya keeping Rama, Ramachandra's Paduka in the Simhasana and a great gathering happened in Bharata's place in Nandi Grama and Bharata Shatrugna made arrangement for a big coronation of Ramachandra. First, all the guests were given a bath, allow them to have a bath and change their dress, and Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata has to have a hair cutting and uh, dressed up like a princess, prince, and uh, get ready to move to Ayodhya. A big chariot was arranged by Bharata Shatrugna for Ramachandra and Rama, Lakshmana, Sita went over the chariot. Lakshmana, Shatrugna were putting fan to Rama and Lakshmana, Rama and Sita. Bharata was driving the chariot himself, happily taking all of them to the Ayodhya. And, uh, 
and all the people gathered in Nandi Grama moved towards the Ayodhya. As soon as the chariot comes to Ayodhya, all the queens, Kausalya, Sumitra and KK, they all came to see them and Rama paid his tribute to the feet of Kausalya first, Sumitra second, Kaike third and Vasishtha Maharshi afterwards. And all the people also respected all the three Matas and joined in the palace. And a coronation program is well conducted by Vasishtha Maharshi in the presence of Vishwamitra and so many other Saptarishis came for coronation of Rama. Coronation Rama was witnessed by lot of gods all around the universe and from the heaven they showered lot of pushpas from the heaven and, and the celestial music was there and the dancing girl from heaven performed happily in the Ayodhya and Rama took over the reign of Ayodhya. Subsequent to coronation, Rama gave liberal gifts of 100,000 cows, horses and hundreds of oxen and 300 million gold coins to Brahmins and other deserving people in the coronation. While bidding warm send-off to the guest, he offered a beautiful precious chain to Sugriva. Angada received precious armlets. Rama had gifted Sita a chain of brilliant gems and pearls and Sita wanted to give this to Hanuman. She was seeking the permission of Rama and Rama said, you can give it to anybody you like. Then she gave the the necklace of gems and pearls to Hanuman. Rama blessed him. Hanuman gave a hug to Rama. Rama came forward and gave a hug to Hanuman, was extremely glad and with folded hands and solicited to Rama, I am never satisfied with recitation of your name. Bless me to keep enjoying the pleasure of chanting your name constantly. Rama blessed him, so be it, so long as my glory stays over the earth, you shall be enjoying the pleasure of chanting my name. Thereafter Hanuman, shedding tears of joy, left for performing penance at the Himalayas. Similarly, Rama met Guha and offering his gifts to him and, uh, and uh, sent off giving Sugriva, Angada and other monkeys, duly honored by Rama, left for Kishkinda. When Rama accepted the kinghood, the earth and nature in the Ayodhya all went in a positive manner. When Rama accepted the kinghood of Ayodhya, the earth got enriched with varieties of natural resources, flowers were endowed with pleasant fragrance, trees borne abundant fruits and timely rains helped grow crops in abundance. There was no untimely death in his kingdom of younger ones. When the elders survived, the threat of poison of snakes and attack of plunders and thieves were never heard of in Ramarajya. Glory of Adhyatma Ramayana Om Asya Sri Ramaraksha Stotra Mahamantrasya Buddha Kaushika Rushi constructed Sri Sita Ramachandro Devata Anushtup Chandaha Sita Shaktihi Sri Man Hanuman Kilakam Sri Ramachandra Prithyarthi Rama Rakshastotra Japay Vinyogaha Dhyayodhya Jana Bahum Dutarashtra Dhanusha Padma Padmasanam Pitam Vaso Sovanasam Rama Rakshastotram was constructed Buddha Kaushika Muni and this is comes in the end of Sahasanam also. 
ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೆ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತುತ್ಯುಲ್ಯಂ ರಾಮನಾಮವರಾನನೆ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೆ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತುತ್ಯುಲ್ಯಂ ರಾಮನಾಮವರಾನನೆ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ರಾಮ ರಾಮೇತಿ ರಮೇ ರಾಮೇ ಮನೋರಮೆ ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ತುತ್ಯುಲ್ಯಂ ರಾಮನಾಮವರಾನೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಬುಧಕೌಶಿಕ ಮುನಿ ರಾಮರಕ್ಷಾ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ರಘುಪತಿ ರಾಘವ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ಸುಂದರ ಮಾಧವ ಮೇಘಶ ಸುಂದರ ಮಾಧವ ಮೇಘಶ ದಾಶರಥಿ ಜಗಜೀವನ ರಾಮ ದಾಶರಥಿ ಜಗಜೀವನ ರಾಮ ದಶರಥ ನಂದನ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ದಶರಥ ನಂದನ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ದಶರಥ ನಂದನ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ದಶಮುಖ ಭಂಜನ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ ದಶಮುಖ ಭಂಜನ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ ಕೌಸಲ್ಯಾತ್ಮನ ಸೀರಾಗುರಾಮ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯ ಪಾಲಕ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ಜಾನಕಿ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಜೈ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಾನಕಿ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಜೈ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಾನಕಿ ವಲ್ಲಭ ಜೈ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜೈ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ರಘುವರ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ರಘುಪತಿ ರಾಘವ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ 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 ಸೀ ರಘು ರಾಮ ಸೀತಾರ ರಘುಪತಿ ರಾಘವ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ ರಘುಪತಿ ರಾಘವ ರಾಜ ರಾಮ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನ ಸೀತಾರಾಮ ಹನುಮಾನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಗುಣ ಸಾಗರ ಜಯ ಕಪೀಶ ತಿಹು ಲೋಕ ಉಜಾಗರ ರಾಮದೂತ ಅತುಲಿತಿ ಬಲಧಾಮ ಅಂಜನಿ ಪುತ್ರ ಪವನ ಸುತ ನಾಮ ಮಹಾವೀರ ವಿಕ್ರಮ ಭಜರಂಗಿ ಕುಮತಿ ನಿವಾರಿ ಸುಮತಿ ಕೇಸಂಗಿ ಕಂಚನ ವರ್ಣ ವಿರಾಜ ಸುರೇಶ ಕಾನನ ಕುಂಡಲ ಕುಂಚಿತ ಕೇಶ ಧ್ವಜ ವಿರಾಜೈ ಕಾಂತೆ ಶಂಕರ ಸುವನ ಕೇಸರಿ ನಂದನ ತೇಜ ಪ್ರತಾಪ ಮಾ ಜಗವಂದನ ವಿದ್ಯಾನ ಗುಣಿ ಅತು ಚತುರ ರಾಮ ರಾಜ ಕವಾರೆ ಹೋತನ 
आजा बिनु भाई सारे सब सकल हे तुम्हारी शरण तुम रक्षक का को डरना अपन तेज तुम्हारो आपे तीनों लोग मांगते काम पे भूत पिशाच निकट आवे महावीर जपत निरंतर हनुमत वीर संकट हे मान चुड़ावे मन क्रम वचन ध्यान जोलावे सब पर तपस्वी राजा तीन के काज सकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे तासु अमीन धन पल पावे हरि भक्त कहाई और देवता चित्तन धरिए हनुमत से सर्व सुख करिए संकट मिटे सब मेरा जो सुमिरे हनुमंत बलवीर हनुमान गोसाई कृपा करो गुरुदेव की नाई जो शतवा बंदी महा सुख हो जो ये पड़े हनुमान चालीसा हो सिद्धिशा तुलसीदास तचारिशेरा के हृदय मेरा मित्र ध्वज विराज कांते मुंज जनो मजे शंकर सुवन के सरी नंदन तेज प्रताप महा जगवंदन विद्यावान गुणी अतु चतुर राम राज राम लखन सीता मन बसिया रूप धरी लंक जरावा भीम रूप धरी असुर समारे राम चंद्र के काज समारे लाय संजीवन लखन जियाया श्री रघुवीर ऋषि मुराये रघुपति की नी बहुत बढ़ाई तम मम प्रिय पर तही सम गावे अस कहि श्रीपति कंठ लगावे सन कादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनीश नारद शारद सहित ईश यम कुबेर दिग पाल जाते कवि गोविंद कहि सके कहते उपकार सुग्रीव की न राम मिला राज पद दीना मंत्र विभीषण मान लंकेश्वर बल सब जग जान युग सहस्र योज पर बानो लीलो ताई मधुर पल जानो प्रभु मुद्रिक मेली मुख माहि जल दिलांग गये अचर जसाही दुर्गम काज जगत के जीते सुगम तुम्हारे थे तुम्हारे तुम रखवारे हो तो न आज बिनु भाई सारे सब सकल हे तुम्हारी शरण तुम रक्षक का को डरना अपन तेज तुम्हारो आपे तीनों लोग मांगते काम पे भूत पिशाच निकट आवे महावीर पद निरंतर हनुमत वीर संकट हे मान चुड़ावे मन क्रम वचन ध्यान जोलावे 
सब पर तपस्वी राजा तीन के काज सकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे तासु अमित वन पल पावे भरत शत्रु अरेज ने बिग कारोनेशन सरमी फॉर रामा इन अयोध्या नंदी ग्राम and uh, hair cutting ceremony and bathing ceremony for rama lakshmana sita and bharata did in nandi grama and after that ceremony the plan is to have a procession from nandi grama to ayodhya and then in ayodhya consecration with holy water from four corners of the world and crowning in the ayodhya these are the three steps they planned and uh, accordingly the the hair cutting and uh, bathing and uh, dressing and the royal dressings were done in the first day in nandi grama with bharata and uh, and procession started from nandi grama to ayodhya nagar in the supervision of rama expert royal uh in the supervision of rama and uh, lakshmana and sita bharata arranged so many people to help them and rama was bathed with a fragrant water and dressed in a re- new precious clothes jewels and sandal paste following lakshmana and sugriva a vision of also given beautiful hair cut and bathing and subsequent dressing up in royal style finally the hair cutting and bathing and dressing up in the new royal dress of rama was completed now the second step is royal procession from nandi grama to ayodhya started shatrugna had in the bean while arranged chariots elephants and horses for the royal procession getting ready rama mounted a chariot which was being driven by bharata only shatrugna held royal umbrella 
Over the head of Rama, Lakshmana held a fan, Sugriva and Vibhushana held chavar. Sita rode a palaki or palanquin and she was accompanied by voice of Sugriva and other monkeys in separate palakis. The monkeys in the human form rolled elephants and some were ahead of the chariot of Rama, some were behind the chariot of Rama. Celestial beings Siddha, Charana, Gandharva, gods and sages presented sweet and mild recitation of his glory of Rama amidst the celestial, celestial musical notes. When the citizens of Ayodhya learned about the arrival of Rama and Sita and Lakshmana, the grand procession, they watched from the road both sides and the rooftops and windows, showering flowers over Rama and Sita. They were well dressed and their presence enhanced the grandeur of the royal procession in the roots of Ayodhya. While moving steadily to the royal palace, Rama continued exchanging smiles with the crowd of the people of Ayodhya. When he arrived at the palace, he first went and respected Mata Kausalya and subsequently he met other two mothers, Kaikeyi and Sumitra. Rama arranged comfortable stay for Sugriva and others in palace previously occupied by him. Consecration and crowning ceremony is conducted in the palace of Ayodhya by Vasishta Maharshi accompanied by Vamadeva, Jabali, Gautama and Valivki Maharshi and other sages. Basil, that is Tulsi and Kusha sanctified the holy uh, sanctified the holy fragrant water pots of the sacred places and rivers came from the monkeys and uh, Hanuman and other group of people. They brought water from so many other sources. This was followed by consecration using the combination of auspicious of juices specified by herbs during the celebration, celestial beings continued reciting the glory of Rama. On his coronation day, Indra inspired Vayu to offer a golden garland to Rama. And Indra himself present a precious gift of garland made of pearls and gems. Celestial dancers made charming presentation to Rama. And Rama happily occupied the throne Sita sitting on his left and his left hand continuously holding Sita's hand with affection. At that time, Mahadeva, Lord Ishvara, recited the glory to Rama. You are the creator, you are the protector, and you are the destroyer of enemy of the entire creation. My greetings to you. From Kailas, Mahadeva sent greetings to Lord Rama. To free your devotees from the influence of delusion, you incarnate in various forms. My greetings to you. The brilliance of sun, moon, fire and the demonstration of valor, potency of the beings are due to your will and consciousness. My greetings to you, Lord Mahadeva. Send greetings from the heaven. And Brahma also talked so much nice words about Rama. Lord Mahadeva. Sitting in Kashi with Parvati, he blessed Rama and he also concluded, Mahadeva says, I solicit you to grant the, me this boon that if someone either recites this Ramayana or listens to it or inscribes it, he may be provided eternal bliss and your sacred abode in the end of their life. This is what Lord Mahadeva asked Rama to give this boon to the, all the devotees who recite Adhyatma Ramayana to get blessed by Rama in the end of their lives. Eternal bliss and your sacred abode in the end of their lives. This was an assurance. Nahadeva asked Rama to give assurance to the devotees. Thank you very much all of you. This is the end of coronation. And God's glorified Rama. Due to the wounds of Brahma, Ravana had deprived us from our celestial share. With your grace, our share has been restored to us, Indra said that. Subsequent to Sri Ramachandra's coronation, Rama gave liberal gifts to 
hundreds of thousands of cows to Brahmins and 300 million gold coins to various devotees and Brahmins while bidding Varam send off to guest he offered a beautiful precious chain to Sugriva Angada received two precious ornaments armlets Rama had gifted Sita a chain of made of brilliant gems and uh, pearls and she wanted to gift that garland to Hanuman she was asking Rama's permission and Rama said you can give it to whoever you want and Hanuman Sita gave this pearl and gems chain to Hanuman Hanuman was very curious to know is there a Rama's name or Rama's chanting is inside the pearl and he opened the pearl and bite in it and divide and he said I can't see any Rama there so this is no good for me without Rama and Rama appreciated his uh, affection to Rama and Rama given a big hug to Hanuman and blessed him that he will be with him all the time all the time he will be with him and Hanuman said I am never satisfied with recitation of your name I want to chant and your name all the time he said and Hanuman asked bless me to keep enjoying the pleasure of chanting your name constantly and Rama blessed him so be it so long as my glory stays over the earth you shall be enjoying the pleasure of chanting my name in the world thereafter Hanuman shedding tears of joy left for performing penance to Himalayas similarly Rama met Guha and offering his several villages for his own custody and ruling he farewell blessing him enjoy sovereign of his own state Vibhishana receiving his blessings and precious gifts left for Lanka and Sugriva, Angada and other monkeys duly honored by Rama left for Kishkinda. When Rama accepted the kingdom, the earth got enriched. Ayodhya and the kingdom enriched with varieties of natural resources. Flowers were endowed with pleasant fragrance all over the Ayodhya. Trees bore abundant fruits and timely rains came and helped grow crops. There was no untim untimely death of the younger, younger ones in this kingdom. When the elders survived, threat of poison, snakes and attack of plunders and thieves were unheard in his kingdom. So Rama ruled Ayodhya very, very well and people were completely happy and contented. Then Mahadeva and Parvati blessed both Rama and Sita. First time Mahadeva had recited his Ramayana to Parvati, that's Adhyatma Ramayana, what I discussed with you all these few days, as a spiritual technique to liberate afflicted individuals. The recitation of coronation section of this Ramayana helps to ensure high status of wealth in this world. Those who recite, listen and inscribe the Ramayana and, and read and describe Adhyatma Ramayana from beginning are assured of liberation from the worldly bonds and secure blessings of fond of devotional affection for Rama and Lakshmana and Sita. Thank you very much for listening to the Adhyatma Ramayana. Thank you very much. ओम नमोस्तु अनंताय सहस्रमूर्त सहस्रपादाक्षिशिरोहु नमोस्तु अनंताय सहस्रपादाक्षिपसनाने पुषाश्रुत सहस्रकोटियुगधारणे नम सहस्रकोटियुगधारणे नम आकाशात्पति यथागत्य सागर सर्वेव नमस्कार केशव प्रजगति श्रीकेशव प्रजगत्यो नमो नम ओम केशवाय नम ओम नारायण नम ओम माधवाय नम ओम गोविंदय नम ओम विष्णु नम मत्सोदराय नम त्रिविक्रमाय नम वामराय नम श्रीधराय नम ऋषिकेशाय नम 
पद्मनाभाय नम दामोदराय नम संकर्षणा नम वासुदेवाय नम प्रद्युम्नाय नम अनुद्धाय नम पुरुषोत्तमाय नम दोक्षा नम नारसिंहाय नम अच्युताय नम जनाद्राय नम हरे नम श्रीकृष्णाय नम हरे राम हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण रघुपति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता राम पतित पावन राजा राम सुंदर माधव मेघश्या सुंदर माधव मेघश्या दाशरथी जगजीवन राम दाशरथी जगजीवन राम दशरथ नंदन राजा राम दशरथ नंदन राजा राम दशरथ नंदन राजा राम दशमुख भंजन सीता राम दशमुख भंजन सीता राम कौसल्यात्मन सी रघुराम अयोध्या पालक राजा राम जानक वल्लभ जय जय राम जानक वल्लभ जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जानक वल्लभ जय जय राम जय जय राम सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम श्री रघुवर राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम सीता राम सी रघुराम सीता रघुपति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता राम